At the Global Peace Summit held in Switzerland on June 15th and 16th, participating countries supported three points of the peace formula – nuclear energy security, food security, as well as all-for-all all exchange of prisoners of war and the return of children illegally deported by Russia to its territory. Ukraine's partners are to discuss each of these points separately. The outcome of these meetings will form the basis for the second peace summit. From our side, from our partners' side, I believe that we and our partners, we do everything for this. And I think for this purpose we will conduct the second summit as soon as possible. Russian representatives should be attending the second summit. The presence of Kremlin representatives at the negotiating table is also welcomed in Washington. The U.S. Department of State believes that only Ukraine has the right to decide on what terms and when it will build relations with Russia. We always supported diplomacy when Ukraine is ready, but it has never been clear that the Kremlin is ready for actual diplomacy. Um, that was clear at the beginning of this war when we were pursuing diplomacy and the Kremlin pulled a plug on diplomacy and invaded. And it remains, seems to remain true today, but um, uh, we will continue to stand with Ukraine and when, if and when they believe further diplomatic steps are um, uh, with Russia are appropriate, uh, we will support them in that decision. According to the Ukrainian president, the plan for the second peace summit should be ready in November, and the preparation for it will take months, not years, as Ukraine seeks to hold the second peace summit before the end of the current year. But Russia has already stated that it does not intend to take part in it. Analysts at the Institute for the Study of War are also convinced the Kremlin is not ready for negotiations. Kremlin officials will likely continue to frame legitimate Ukrainian negotiating positions as ultimatums in order to justify the Kremlin's disinterest in peace negotiations and its continued war against Ukraine, from a report by the Institute for the Study of War. However, Ukraine continues to demonstrate its readiness to negotiate with Russia, and it refers to the peace plan which is in line with international law. According to Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba, the goal is for the next summit to be the end of the war. With the clear stance, Russia should not speak the language of ultimatums. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Natalia Husak, Volodymyr Stenhelov, UATV News.